Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Elena. Привет! I'm a Russian-American makeup and beauty addict. I usually buy and review and do tutorials of all affordable and expensive makeup from drugstore, Walmart, dollar store, you name it. I'll test it on my face and I'll pass the savings to you guys. So this is a tutorial, not a review, and this was picked by my subscriber Robin from one of my older videos when I just started my channel, like almost a year ago. And this is done with the Tropical Carnival Revolution X Tammy, the beautiful rainbow palette. So it looks like this. So if you're interested and want to see, there is quite a bit of glitter in here. I'm going to be doing a tutorial and also talk about some uh, random stuff growing up in Soviet Union, in Moldova, modeling, body image, all kind of stuff. So if you guys are interested, then keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell if you haven't yet. I upload on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, three times a week and some occasional other days happens. So leave me a comment and like this video, it helps me. And follow me on social media, it's Instagram, Twitter, down in the description box. So let's get right into this. So before I start this video, let's do my recent thing, the Russian word of the day that, that I shamelessly stole from Niki Tutorials. <laughs> so I was thinking what else can I do in this video since this is the, just a dedicated makeup tutorial and it's not a particular review. So I wanted to do a word tutorial and actually since I, I never done makeup tutorials in Russian or neither I did it think about anything related to makeup and tutorials in my country. I immigrated a long time ago, okay? <laughs> so I had to look it up. I'm like, oh, so that's a tutorial. <laughs> so it's pretty much in Russian, tutorial is the same as a lesson, like a lesson for kids in school, it's the same word. So makeup tutorial, urok, makijaja. Makijaja, it means makeup. I already went over that word with you guys. <laughs> so in Russian we have conjugation, so the ending of the word changes depending on how you use it. It's very complex, never mind. Don't even think about it. <laughs> so the word tutorial is urok. Very short, very easy. As usual, I'm going to put the Russian Cyrillic here and the phonetic spelling, the phonetic pronunciation right below. So U Rok. And the Russian R's are very hard, so you gotta roll it. U Rok. U Rok. There you go. U Rok Makiyaja, which is makeup tutorial. So there you have it. So let's get into this video. Before I start the tutorial without my eye makeup, I'm gonna tell you uh, how I came about this. So about a week ago, uh, one of my subscribers, her name is Robin McCollum, she left me a comment and she left me a comment on the old video, which is real cool because, you know, when people look me up by old videos, I'm like, oh, that's so cool. Google actually shows my videos <laughs> in search. That's awesome. So she says, can you do a full tutorial on this eye look, please? I just love your makeup looks, especially this one. These colors are everything, Elena. Well, thank you, Robin. And I said, yes, I will, when I get through other things I was doing at the moment, but it took me just a week. It says one week ago, the receipts and deleted tweets. So yeah. So the first video I did was a review of Care Beauty glitters that I have on my eyelids. So I did not show how I was making that look, right? So now I'm gonna go through the whole look, or at least what I think how I did it. I have an idea. <laughs> so if you guys are interested in that video, again, link is gonna be up here so you can see the receipts. So we're gonna be doing this and talking, chatting. So let's get to it. So it's fun to do uh, the same look and do it maybe a little more different or a little more smoky as you can see. I mean it always ends up a little more smoky. <laughs> so we're using this beautiful Revolution Tummy X Tummy palette. The Tropical Carnival that I haven't reached for in a long time. It would be nice to play with something I haven't reached for. So I'm going with this beautiful blue tone. 
Uh, actually, I do have names in the back. It's really difficult so to figure out which is which. I think it's called Navy. Well, if I go with the name, it's gonna take me forever. I'm just like, ah! <laughs> the Navy just went on my hand. Almost dropped it. So I'm going with Navy. And yes, my nails are still done. One popped off yesterday. Glued it back on. We're all good. So I'm using just our brushes for this. You can use any brushes you have. Just make sure uh, you have a right order of them. Like the lightest, uh, fluffier ones go out by the eyebrow. And the smaller and more condensed ones go by the outer corner. So this is one of my favorite Jessa Brush 231 Lux Petite Grease. So I'm going to start with this, with the navy color. And we're going to go... Oh, it turned up. There you go. I already primed with the Anastasia ABH primer and we're gonna go right in. So I'm gonna start here, right on the outer corner. I'm gonna draw the shape. I like to, the shape to be drawn out, kind of a foxy eye, I guess. So I'm gonna start right with this shape and go right into the crease. And this eyeshadow blends easy. So the thing is with this palette, there is no light cool tone blue. There's this blue, like a turquoise blue, but it kind of doesn't go. So I don't know, don't remember what I did the first time I did my makeup, so I can't really tell you. So I'm just gonna go with my instinct. And this blue goes all the way down into the crease. So yeah, as you, as you can see, I'm probably going to put it in the title of this video. I wanted to chat. If you guys want to know more about me or growing up uh, in Soviet Union, one of my friends said, I mean, obviously my BFF, Teresa, she says you should talk about more about Soviet Union growing up there. I mean, most of my childhood was in Soviet Union because I was born in 1975, so... I grew up pretty much behind the Iron Curtain, you know, and my memories are mostly as a child, so I can't really judge the situation as an adult, because that probably would have been different. But as a child, I had a pretty happy childhood, but what I want to focus on today and just tell you uh, about the modeling career and body images. I mean, I was a model in my country, sort of a model, or tried to be. So when I finished high school, the political situation was very um, difficult in Moldova. I was uh, what, 17, 1992, and the whole Soviet Union just fell apart and everybody got the independence. We had civil war, Moldova, North and South, and North was Pridnestrovia. Uh, they wanted to be uh, independent. So they got the independency and there was war. So uh, not a very long war, but it was pretty bad, so they uh, separated. By the way, I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, there's no light color to plan. So to trick, it's like a little trick. I mean, I'm not a pro makeup artist, all right? So if you have a palette with white, just use that to kind of blend it out. Or if you don't wanna mess with the palette with a white or you don't have a white, you use kind of a powder foundation, lighter than the skin tone if you have anything like that. This is Maybelline Superstay, and it's full coverage, so it provides you a lighter tone. That's kind of trick to blend out uh, the dark tone. And I'll use a bigger brush for that. Another Jessa brush, if I find it, there you go. So this one is Fly Fear 228 Luxe Grease. So this one is better for blending out. And I'm gonna go into a powder. So I wanted to be a model and it was a f funny thing because in school, in high school, I was kind of geeky girl, nothing special physically <laughs> because all I did was study pretty much. I was a nerd, but I really like arts and you know, like this painting and stuff. So I like makeup, I always love makeup, but I wanted to start to study modeling, like everything about modeling, uh, maybe dancing, like you know, kind of like a combination of all. So I went to a modeling school instead after the high school 
it was a modeling school connected to a fashion house like a large Moldovan fashion house in the middle of the capital. It was a pay for school, so of course it would take anybody. But as a result, some of the girls would be accepted in the fashion house to be models there. I mean, Russian standards to be a model, Russian models usually are very tall. Like I'm tall, people here think I'm tall, I'm 5'8". But Russian, like in centimeters, so like I'm 172, 73. Uh, but uh, Russians usually start like at 178 centimeters and up. Not too tall because that's a problem too. So it's kind of like very strict. And at the time in 1992, 93, the standard of models was skinny as a stick. And the skinny it is, the better. I'm going to... What are we going to do next? I think I'm going to cut the crease. And then we're going to go with some uh, shimmers so I went to that school not to be like I didn't have any delusions you know I didn't really fit their modeling standard but I wanted to study and maybe work as a model elsewhere so uh, the part of that school was study uh, modeling the catwalk how to do makeup um, it was even like some of the like a table setting, kind of a housewife skills, I guess, I don't know, like an etiquette, I mean, yeah, etiquette, fashion, yeah, we studied fashion, what else, oh, there's so many things, dance, we studied dance, we did like an aerobics class, you know, before to warm up, so I really lived for it, I love that, that's how I got into aerobics, I love that, the dance part of it, it was my favorite part, but, you know, for their standards, I was chubby, so all the models that did work with them and other girls kind of looked down at me as the fat one. <laughs> I was not the only one that was, you know, normal size. And mind you, I was never fat. I was normal size, right? But in modeling world, they looked down at me as a chubby chick will never make it. <laughs> I'm just laughing now because it's so ridiculous. But at the time, I felt so self-conscious. Self and so depressed because of that. Looking at other girls and how beautiful they are. I mean, that like the bones, skin and bones. I decided in my brain it was, that was a standard. Like they like make you the brain gets all messed up, and you see that <clears throat> as ideal because all I tell you is that is the ideal. So that's how girls get effed up in the brain, really. And it's still up to this day, I believe. I mean, everywhere. Although now, the standard is getting a little better because now we have plus size modeling. But still, I think it's still like, it's still not completely uh, finished, all that standard, not done with. But anyway, that time was real bad. And I remember uh, being in a, I think it was a fashion class. Yeah, we had a fashion class. And one of these women, I was what, 17, 18? <laughs> I was the young kid. So one of these women, like grown up women, what, like 30, 40 something, probably, probably 40 something, she was studying, teaching fashion history and, you know, fashion, like what goes well with what, you know, what people should wear, like what silhouette is better for who, you know, kind of things that kind of do make sense. But what she told me personally, <laughs> I'm just laughing now, kind of like, because it still pisses me off that a grown woman would tell a teenager something like that. I'm just looking for my brush right now, because I need to cut my crease. Oh, here's my brush. So I'm going to go cut my crease with P. Louise base. So she looked at me like she was giving us personal advice for all the girls in the school. So she looked at me. I'm sorry, I'm just adjusting my camera. She looked at me personally. She's like, well... Uh, I don't like how your knees look. I think she might have used the word ugly. I'm not 100% sure, but she kind of said something along those lines that have such ugly knees that should never wear mini skirts and I should always wear skirts covering up my knees. <sighs> you know, for the teenager like that that wants to wear a short skirt and be fashionable, although I knew I wasn't like the skinniest one, but if you say something like that to a girl like that, what is going to do to her uh, state of mind? I was depressed, depressed the house. <laughs> I'm just laughing at it, but it wasn't funny. I was really, really upset. 
and pretty much made my life miserable. As much as I loved the school and I was studying, the things like they would tell you and some subliminal messages they would give you, they really mess you up in the brain. I did diet a little bit. I lost a little bit of weight in that school. Not like extreme, but you know, normal. And I was so happy with that. And even then, after I lost some weight, they still considered me too fat. <laughs> and too short. <laughs> I'm just laughing because it's so stupid, but it is. So yeah, I never became a model over there, although I did become a model in another fashion theater, they would call it. Like, it's like a group of girls so hired by uh, a businessman. They were running a fashion theater, doing fashion shows for uh, like rich businessmen and their wives. Like if they want to look at the fashions and buy something, it's more like to sell items, more of a like, not art couture, hot couture items, but more of a like a nice ones, but still like for sale. I don't know how to describe it. Anyway, it's like to sell pretty much. So I was part of that one. And those people didn't have those crazy standards. So I did very well in that fashion theater. So that was experience in Moldova. So when I moved to US, so when you do a base like this, I'm just going all over the place, either tap it, I would kind of tap it with my finger, but I have nails now. So I have dry sponge, a mini sponge. So I want to press it in because you don't want this to grease. So kind of like a little bit of cut grease. Uh, I'm totally believe I did this the first time I did this look. Because the first time around I did this look, I was beginning on my channel and I was kind of a little more sloppy. <laughs> so I kind of like, eh, let's just slap that shimmer over. And now I'm like, oh, let's just cut the grease first. <laughs> You know, we all change, we all do better. Anyway, I'm taking a flat brush. This is a cream shader, actually, but it, I like to use it for shimmers. That's from Just Upset 233. It's very flat. It's like very convenient for this kind of purpose. So I'm using color switch in between. So I'm going to start with dark. I should have started with light, right? I'm maybe going to start with light on this side. So I'm going to go with a yellowish, like a lime green yellow here. Uh, so and then I'm not gonna show you all all the time. So I'm gonna show you right away this, this, and this. It's like ombre, yellowish green to green to blue, you know, ombre. So yeah. So when I married to my husband, 1998, and I moved to U U.S., I wanted to try modeling again. So I went to like agencies that would help you do a composite card. And they all, like one of them said, it was like a small agency, they said, we're going to shoot your pictures for like a low price. And I think they had fair rates for the composite card. So I did composite card with them. And she said, we'll represent you for like different things, maybe like um, extra in the movies, maybe some photo shoots if it happens. But they said you have very low chance of being a model because you're too big. <laughs> so they, they kept on going with the same thing. So, yeah, and she actually, that woman told me that I need to go on the salad diet and eat salad in the morning for breakfast, salad for lunch, and salad for dinner. Don't get me wrong, I love salad. Up to now, I love salad, but I'm not eating salad for breakfast. And she meant, like, only salad, <laughs> no protein. And I said I, work at, I worked at the gym already, teaching, like, all kinds of classes. And she's like, do you do weightlifting? I'm like, yes, it's part of it. She's like, don't do weightlifting, it's not good for the models. It's not the type of body we want you to have. So again, this is such a bad uh, example, such a bad psyche, for, uh, so bad for psyche for the women in general. Because we all need to build uh, you know, muscle too. Because it's not good to be skinny with no muscle. Because that's how you get all kind of illnesses and muscle imbalances so I didn't listen to her actually I'm like no I ain't doing this this is crap I think you get older and you get more of a I guess wiser and you don't take advice as is so like I, I was smart enough not to go for it but it does hurt your feelings when somebody said it like that 
I did do some modeling here in the US. I did like modeling for uh, hair shows, some photo shoots, just for like photography. So if I find some old pictures, I'm gonna insert them here. I think I have some photographs, like the regular photographs, not on the phone, like the photographs, photographs, when we didn't have cell phones like this. <laughs> so I might take some pictures of the pictures and post them, if you guys are interested. So yeah, that's my story. So I'm just making a point that as a society, I think we've come a long way to have so many different types of models nowadays. But I think we should still be careful what kind of uh, body image we insert in the minds of young girls because it can be very damaging. Because up to now, I don't, I'm not going to claim that I completely recovered. I'm 45 and I still have issues, you know, even up to now with the body image. Because it stays with you, you know, this kind of thing. So, yeah. It kind of went all over the place. I wanted to tell you something about Soviet Union. And I ended up with the modeling business. <laughs> so, yeah, see? And this kind of ombre, it really blends well. So, in my old video, uh, the one that Robin was asking about, uh, that was a review for Care Beauty Glitters. So, I came in with a look. And it just did the... Uh, review of the glitters and I put the glitter over so I'm just gonna do the glitter over too uh, I'm going to add a little extra and smoke out the outer corner with black I'm not sure if I had that in that video I was trying to look at it closely because I don't remember what I did back then how would I remember it was a year ago <laughs> but I closed in on my video and it might have been might have been a little black in there so I'm gonna go with the Luxy pencil, Lux pencil, just a brush, very small. And I'm going to in the black in that dummy palette, just smoke it out. So if you guys have similar experience with modeling or body image, drop me a comment below. Tell me what you think, what you have, because a lot of women go through this. So women are held at the standard that really messes up with our brains. I mean, men do too, but I think women I get punished for having normal bodies a lot. All right, so we're getting black. So even nowadays, I know how it feels like, and I, I always make sure I notice if somebody feels not confident or doubts in their body image. I always make sure to tell them how beautiful they are and that they don't need to lose any weight or because I know how it feels like I've been there and I'm there I'm still there <laughs> because it doesn't go away but we all need to encourage each other as women and celebrate our bodies as they are so I always make sure to tell women that they're beautiful because we need it so I'm going from dark blue and then to green this one and I might add a little more glitter on there later we'll see I always end up with glitter I think in the previous video it was pretty much all green on the low lash line it looks very light I think like my aesthetic has changed I got a little more dramatic a lot more dramatic I've always been dramatic, but I think being in YouTube long enough, it's like bigger, bigger, more, more glitter, more smoky. And you get all out of control. <laughs> and I think the first video I didn't do my eyes first. I did my face makeup first, so you know, you're a little more careful how smoky you go. And now I can go as wild as I want because I'll fix it later. So my message to you Pay attention around you to women around your friends and how they feel about themselves and make sure to tell them they're beautiful you know because it's very important you gotta pay attention to each other and I love being in our makeup group the sausage group because I feel it's a very good example how women can actually behave in a loving way and support each other and never judge because that's very important yeah, I'm going with a dark powder again. I could have gone with white eyeshadow, but I want to pretend I'm using only one palette. Not pretend, but I mean, you know what I mean. 
I actually have this. So if I were to use white, I would have used uh, from ABH because I like this white, but I'm not gonna cheat. I'm gonna use one palette. So I'm going to use highlight my brow bone. I'm going to highlight with one of my favorite things I used to go to all the time. When I started my channel, I didn't have as much makeup. So I also went to this offer highlighter, Star Island. And this came in Ipsy bag. Yeah, Ipsy bag, full size. So yeah, I like that out. So I'm gonna use small, tiny brush. Uh, this one is not a Jessa brush. I don't know why I grabbed it. It's a lavish pencil brush. It's like a real small. So I'm just gonna go into the brow bone. See, this is one of my favorite color schemes. Very smoky, very blue, cool tone. I like pink and purple, but this kind of look really, really makes me feel special way. So thank you, Robin, for asking. I'm glad you asked me, and I'm so surprised that people still go to my older videos. I'm like, oh, somebody is actually old in my watching my older SHIT. <laughs> yeah, that was a nice look. Alright, so the plan is getting better, at least in real life. I don't know what it looks like on camera, but in real life it's looking good. So now I'm going to go with glitter. I'm going to ignore all the fallout because we're going to clean this later. So I'm going to glitter first and then the eyeliner and the lashes, the whole bit. So in my first video, <laughs> I didn't have the matte scales yet. So I went the peasant's uh, way, what was called, I'm a peasant. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I called myself a peasant. A pedestrian way, I want to say. So I used this. Care Beauty. In the column Myth. Outer corner and go to lighter. Oh, I go from lighter to dark. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I guess I can go from light to dark. But anyway, what I did was the applicator. I just applied it right there and there. So now I'm more sophisticated. So I'm going to use a brush. It's like a big improvement. I'm so bougie. I'm using the brush from J. Kissa, and that's Elf brush. I love how rainbow they are. They're not like the super high quality, but I like them. So this is J6. It's like a super skinny flat brush. This is great for the glitter application. If you want to drag a line, you could draw a line. I would probably use something more pointy for the line, but this is like all over the lid. So I'm going to start with Thir what is it? Thirst. It's a gold one. These are all care beauty glitters and they're old too. So, but I kind of want to want to ah, tongue twist. I want to use what I used in the video. So I'm just going to go off this applicator and apply it into the inner corner part. It's a beautiful, beautiful gold. So eventually, I'm probably going to go on the low lash line a little bit, just like I did in the video. Because in the video, it looks like I have a little bit here. And we're doing the ombre effect. Trying to keep my eye open because I'm not sure when the glitter gets a little old, maybe it's a little thicker and stickier. So it might take a little longer to dry. So I'm trying not to open my eye. I'm going into the magic. That's magic, the lime green, this beautiful color. It's one of my favorites. Oh yeah, Teresa. Green, look at green. Look and envy. <laughs> I'm just teasing my friend Teresa because she's obsessed with green. And she's gonna like go crazy gaga for this one. This is the most beautiful lime green ever. So if you guys are interested in Care Beauty, I'm going to link my old video, put a card up here. And that video I made like a very beginning of my channel. And this glitters, these glitters are real, real good. I still stand by it. I, I got a bunch of Hyundai glitters to replace this because this are kind of getting old. So I want new, something new, try a different brand. Hyundaian is real good too, but I think this one is a little better. Because I, I use Hyundaian, I love it, but this one's so stunning, it's like extra special. So I'm not 100% sure if I use light blue, 
I think it did in that video. So I'm going to use a little bit of that aqua icy color. And I'm going to go with icy and then mist. I'm not even cleaning the brush in between because we want to create ombre. So it's going to help to ombre. Do you see all that? Oh, this glitter. It's so pretty. All right. Now I'm going into the purple. This mist color is very special. I think it, I don't think this one dried out yet because I use gold the most and this one I haven't used as much. It is so beautiful. It's like that unicorn multi-chrome type of thing. It's so pretty. So if you guys are interested in Cara Beauty, it's available on I Love Cara. Oh, I love Cara Beauty, one of those things. I never buy from her, that's why I'm not even sure what her website is called. Because this thing is so much cheaper on uh, iKate House. iKate House is like a discount website. And these on discount website like $3.99 each. Sometimes it go on sale for $2.99, sometimes it's $4.99, depends. But it's better to buy from them because it's cheaper. On the Care Beauty website, it's like um, $9.99, I think, unless it's on sale. So I'm kind of dragging it out a little bit. It's hard to blend uh, the glitter with the matte eyeshadow, so it's not going to happen perfectly, but you know. So we get in this ombre effect to make sure that both eyes are equal somewhat. Because <laughs> it's never even, never. Once you start doing one eye and finish it, the other eye is never the same. So what I did off camera, I put some eyeliner on. And this is 18 hours super last eyeliner, waterproof and essence. I love this one. This one is very creamy and goes over glitter easy. So when you do something like this, it's not like a pressed glitter. Pressed glitter is the worst to put eyeliner over. And usually if you use pressed glitter, I would go, I wouldn't put it right on a uh, lash line. But this kind of glitter, I mean, you can get away with it. But still, if you're using something like a felt tip, it might not be as easy. But this kind of applicator, it's like it's very liquid and very creamy. It really glides, glides easy over something like this. So that was for the eyeliner. For the waterline, in the first video I did my signature white. <laughs> I like white. And now I'm getting a little more fancy and sophisticated. So I went with blue. And this is Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in the color Brands. Yeah. So it looks like this. Ooh, what happened here? I think I just it just fell apart in my hands. There we go. It's a really pretty blue. That's something interesting, different. So now I'm going to take that little tiny brush that I cleaned off a little bit. I'm going to gold and just kind of pop it a little more like a little lash line. So when I do my face makeup, then I'm going to assess the situation. I might add a little more glitter here and there because it always looks different when your face is complete. So now I'm kind of just looking at the video and thinking the video I had a little yellow glitter here, gold. So it's a really pretty gold. All right, so so just like that. So I'm going to add mascara and eyelashes, and I'll be back. I mean, with the full look. So let me zoom in a little more. So that's the blue look. I mean, still eyelashes to go, but that's what I got now. So when it's cleaned up, it's gonna look way better because <laughs> right now the fallout is there. So I'll be back. Okay, so here's the finished eye look. I did end up putting more glitter on their eyes because I felt like I needed more glitter in my life. I just can't. I can't just go with the uh, lid. So I did kind of similar. I put the green and gold here and pretty much gra dragged a little green and a little bit of mist, the blue, the dark blue. that kind of did a little ombre, just a little bit. <laughs> well, in my opinion, it's a little bit. So yeah. So this is the look from my first video almost a year ago where I reviewed Cara Beauty uh, Glitter Liquid Eyeshadows and this is the current version of it. So this is for you Robin. There you go. I hope uh, it gave you 
the tutorial that you needed although i chatted a lot because i felt like i don't do enough chatty videos so i went ham on the body image and this is kind of a very important topic for me because i went through it when i was like 18 19 and in my 20s so i mean it stays with you throughout life so it's very important that we uh support each other so there we go that's a finished look so i'm gonna tell you real quick what i used on my face if you're curious so for the base i use elf luminous body primer and for the foundation i felt like full coverage cake like i wanted that cake and my skin is dry to normal so i would say i usually don't like matte foundation but this is not the most matte the most awful matte foundation i really love this this is matte base so revolution really inexpensive really cheap beautiful full coverage it says poor blur in full coverage and it is it's like perfect smooth surface when you put it on so i really really like this foundation and i used the new concealer from xx revolution which i loved a lot too then i used a setting powder from elf that i haven't reached for in a while i've kind of been reaching for stuff that i haven't uh touched in a while so this is very cheap very cheap product but it has the same kind of quality as this foundation pore blur blurring so this side like a two dollar prime and stay finishing powders i used two one is fair light and one is light medium and they look like this they have no mirror i mean i hit the pan on both of them because they're that good if i have an open one there there you go so this is like a darker color and I use the lighter one like in the middle of my face and under eyes so this is great stuff I mean they're very basic but they're so smoothing they're real real good they give a little bit of color so they kind of cover a little bit more so i really like that too and for the bronze i used uh, actually where's my contour i used contour from revolution oh there you go very basic to uh face sculpt duo revolution so the lighter color kind of cut my cheeks a little bit with and the darker one is contour it's like almost bronzy contour which i don't mind because it doesn't give you too gray like i've been into like bronzy contour lately and i use also on top of the head the new bronzer which like kind of now i'm looking they're almost the same color interesting is it yeah they're actually the same color so i guess that's the thing for revolution <laughs> mega bronze and cool i use that as well on top for the blush i use the new uh blush and hearts i used all the new stuff a lot of new stuff that i got triple bake blusher looks like this gorgeous the most shining gorgeous blush i love that if you guys are glowy and hoey like me you're gonna love this tia mesa you're gonna love this so also for the highlighter i use since i use ofra on my brow bone i just went with ofra and i forgot how beautiful this highlighter looks alone on its own on the cheeks it's just the most beautiful finish so that was for the highlighter eyeliner I already said what i was using this one the essence and for the mascara i used the new mascara the iheart revolution chocolate dipped it's very good mascara actually it gives you quite a bit of volume i really like this a lot and what else for the lips the lips i used first i used hyundaian liquid lip this is like very basic and expensive it's like a couple of bucks on aliexpress you might not trust aliexpress but i mean my lips are not falling off yet <laughs> i like it it's very matte kind of a, a light brown which i like for neutral i've been wearing a lot of brights lately so i'm like i wanted this neutral tone it's really nice by alone by itself it's like a cool tone brown like almost neutral flesh tone but it's not quite it's like it smells so good too i don't know what kind of scent it is but it's slightly perfumed oh, it's so good and i'll use a liquid cat suit mega last wet and wild this is cut you bare naked and this is great for a little bit of shine and also to lighten up i felt like good concealer lips so i like to have those concealer lips you conceal everything <laughs> covered up and also i forgot to mention after i powdered i used a little bit of this because this is supposed to be a finishing powder but you can't really set your face with this it's like a highlighter literally so this is a luster 
from XX Revolution. You just take it on your brush and kind of put it in the high points. It gives you a little extra shine. So and that's all the products I use my face. And of course for the eyes, if you haven't seen it yet, clearly throughout the whole video, I use Revolution X Tammy. I love Tammy as a beauty uh, guru on YouTube. I like her personality. I love that she makes makeup geared towards uh, women of color because we need more of that and this palette is not an exception it's beautiful it has a lot of deep darker tones that's great for women of color but it also like works on light skin tone look hey works on me so beautiful rainbow palette if you didn't get it yet go get it it blends like a dream it's like it's perfect it's beautiful so that's the end of my tutorial if you guys enjoyed this give this thumbs up Thank you for Robin again for suggesting it. I'm glad I went over this look again because I really like the blue, so like the greens and the yellow it kind of works together. So subscribe if you yet, haven't yet uploaded three times a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, sometimes extra other days if something happens and I need to put out the video, which happens. <laughs> so like, comment, and I'll see you guys in my next video. And thank you for watching. Love you. <laughs> Bye.